and if my shadow if my observer is here then it will see the front view and you'll see that this shadow is being casted here so behind this line i will draw what i will draw my projection i will take the uh, i'll take a line this way and i'll mark this point as v dash similarly from here i will mark a line if you can see this i am marking a line in this way and i will mark this point this point will actually be uh, h dash in v and then i will join this line this is what this is my elevation then for getting the plan i have to draw a line at 45 degrees from here now extending this line below and then exactly perpendicular to it i will draw a straight line yes is it it is visible to you now and i will extend this line to meet this line at h and this will be my plan now if i measure this i'll have my elevation and if i measure this i'll have my plan length and this was the true length that was given to me which is at an angle of 30 degrees with vp and it was at uh, 60 degrees with hp so this is the solution of the problem uh, by using the profile plane this we are viewing it from the side this is the side view that we are taking this is the side view so this problem looks uh, simple from the side view so we solved it using the side view okay so we come to the final problem now this fi this final problem again as uh, you can see a line vh is 70 mm long and has its end v in vp and uh, oh sorry this is the same problem i didn't change the slide i'm sorry okay so this is the slide uh, and for example number 7 a line ab is 70 mm long and is inclined at 45 degrees to vp and its top view makes an angle 60 degrees with vp the end a is in hp and 12 mm in front of vp draw the front view and find its true inclination to vp okay so this was just an narration of a problem let's see what it says a line ab is 90 mm long and is inclined at 45 degrees to hp the length of the line ab is given and its inclination of 45 degrees with hp is given and its top view makes an angle of 60 degrees with vp which is also given the end a is in hp and 12 mm in front of vp so end a one it is in hp so the line uh, when we draw xy the front view point for a will be in xy and the top view will be 12 mm below xy and we have to draw the front view and uh, we have to draw the front view and its true inclination with vp so let's see let's draw now let's use a red pen i will you draw line xy once i have drawn my line xy i will plot my points a dash and a a dash the front view is in hp itself so this will be the point a dash and my point a will be 12 mm below here this is my point a and it is 12 mm in this way okay now what i'll do is 
from a dash i will draw my front view as a dash b dash and 90 mm and making an angle at 45 degrees from a dash i'm going to draw a line which is at 45 degrees and the length has to be 90 mm as given in the question a dash b dash forty five degrees and this is what this is my front view which was required the next step i will draw what i will draw a straight line through a now once i've drawn a straight line with a i'll drop a perpendicular and name this as b1 now the next step is to draw a line at 60 degrees a line at 60 degrees Sixty degrees with uh, it was sixty degrees with VP, so we have drawn sixty degrees with re, uh, respect to XY, and then from B, I'll use an orange pen. From B, A B dash will uh, A B one will be the radius, and I will cut this. This point will be. b and this segment i'll make it with black now this blackened segment will be my top view now the next step is to draw a locus of this point b so it will be a straight line once i have drawn the locus i will take my radius as i'll take my radius as uh, 90 mm that is this uh, uh, this is 90 mm this is 90 mm uh, this is 90 mm so i'll take a uh, radius of 90 mm and i'll cut an arc here somewhere around say here this is 90 mm and i will join with blue i'll do that and i will join this this point will be b2 so this is another two length that i have obtained this is the front view this is the top view and this is the true length of the line that i have obtained obtained so this is the original line now what i have to do is i have to find it uh, its inclination with respect to vp so for finding its inclination with respect to vp what i have to do is i have to measure this angle i'll name is as theta so once i measure this angle theta i will have what i will have my uh, true inclination with vp and the sum will be concluded so the uh, we have solved yet another problem so today we have discussed seven examples we have discussed two cases uh, both the cases of inclination that is inclination with one reference plane and inclination with two reference planes so we have come to an uh, hence we have come to the end of the session as well as we have come to the end of projections of lines and projection of points so in the next session we are going to discuss the projection of planes 
which will be on the next uh, Sunday 12 p.m. again and the schedule is up on the GTU's website so you can all have a look and I hope you will all be here and this is me Yash Shavla we are I'm signing off and if you have queries and if you have uh, any suggestions if you have uh, comments please send it in to my email id that is er.yashchavla at the rate gmail.com and thank you and keep practicing good day